This video might be the shortest video I have ever made on this channel, excluding that one time I accidentally uploaded a short as a video. But today, we're gonna be taking a look at this. It might not look for much, but before you click off, this looks different depending on which angle you look at it from. You can see it's only half complete, and that is because I have absolutely exhausted my one by one and one by two cheese slopes. It will be finished at a later date, but today I thought as we're halfway through, we can actually take an image of this, flip it and see what it should look like when it is complete. So I'll show images of that towards the end of this video. You won't have to wait that long. But I don't know if you can see through the camera what these characters are meant to be. I'm not gonna tell you just yet in case you would like to figure it out on your own. And some of the colors that have gone into this, we're looking at pink, we've got yellow, we've got some really wacky colors. There's even a few greens and teal colors down here, which honestly do not represent the character at all. So try to ignore them. It definitely makes sense when you see the bigger picture. This is a project that I will be doing behind the scenes of the other videos. Perhaps I can show you once this is finished what this actually looks like. So be sure to follow me over on Instagram to see the finished design. But I decided there was a spot on the wall between mine and my fiance's desk. And when we hung anything on there, we got two very clear different angles. So what this is actually representing is my fiance and my favorite Clone Wars character. So when she sat at her desk, she could see one character. When I'm sat at mine, I can see another. And honestly, I think that's an amazing design for this sort of artwork. This is the first artwork I've done on the channel. I don't even think we've done anything that comes close to Lego art, unless you, of course, include my mock building. And so far, it is going pretty well. The only tiles missing from this whole portion are white and blue cheese slopes. A few dark blue at the bottom, but mostly just white tiles. So I'll need to be placing an order for them, or hopefully I can find them on the pick a brick wall, which would make it much, much cheaper. And then we can continue on with the other side though. For that, it'd definitely be better ordering them through somewhere like Bricklink. The reason I haven't bought an actual art kit and tried to do this, or perhaps made two different models is again, I want that art that means something different to both me and my fiance. So something like this, where I can see my favorite character from my desk, and you will hopefully be able to see half of the other character is just a really ingenious way of hanging something up on the wall and getting a two in one. There's not a lot of wall space. In fact, the wall behind me is covered. I've got shelves above my desk. We are running very, very low on wall space. So I had to make the most of this and hopefully the pictures can do it somewhat justice. Now, if you haven't guessed what minifigures these are representing, perhaps scroll a bit back in the video because I will be revealing my fiance's favorite character from Clone Wars is General Grievous. And mine, of course, is Ahsoka. I grew up watching Clone Wars and it's a character that we are still following to this day. I'm really hoping for a season two of the Ahsoka show. If you would like to see me finish the other side and show it off in its own video, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll probably just post a picture on Instagram once I've got it done. So be sure to follow me over on there. Don't miss tomorrow's video because the custom set I am reviewing is out of this world. So stay tuned for that. Check out both videos on screen now. May the bricks be with you always.